will now echo across the ages in legend. It was the Gorgon, Medusa, who poisoned Bahantaram's spirit. And I go now to crush the snake. Will you fight at my side, human? Human, I, I felt, felt your, your battle, battle and the unseating of Mahantaram's soul shifted to the cavern south of here. Do you mean to tell Shirzad that you have bested a beast lord? Then we have truly been betrayed by Artemis, and undone by these alien spores that clog the air. This means our primal oath is broken. And the Huntress is now in her possession, the Tear of Gaia. It is more dire than you can imagine. The Tear of Gaia harbors the power to recreate this island and the world beyond. 
If Artemis achieves ascension, then no power can stop her. You need to hurry, human. My duty is to the Tribunal, and I must convene with Kurok over Mahantarum's fate. If fate opposes the Huntress's bid for ascension, then surely you are its champion. Go and... Soul Warden, how long has it been? Much has transpired since you left, and the magic in this land swirls into a maelstrom. Artemis has begun some ritual at the tower. Ready or not, the time to fight is here. The Tear of Gaia. The Tear of Gaia. It is real. It is in the hands of our enemy. Dear gods, if any defy my knowledge, I pray this is somehow untrue. What fool allowed the relic of creation to fall into the Huntress's hands? Oh! As if that were not enough, legions of these abominable Hercene block the passage up the mountain, and the Gorgon feeds their numbers. We must destroy the Snake Woman, lest she come behind to strike us at the heel. Then you will need protection from her gaze, unless you want to be turned to stone. And you are fortunate to have a friend like Morgan. This... Tincture will protect you and cure your bullheaded friend if he has acted in blind aggression. I will collect the Archdruid, for I've realized he does have some uses, and Captain Hargest and her rangers, and we will join you when we can. Go on then, there's no time to waste, Soul Warden. Let no human tread upon the soil of our sanctum. Capture any who would dare. 
This island, this world, immortality, they were always meant for you. Fight for me, my chosen. are exposed, Snake! The bull comes charging. How utterly predictable. And he shall crush you under his hoof! I think not. Rest in stone, you archaic beast. Blinded by rage, I allowed myself to fall victim to the vile Gorgon's gaze and nearly lost all. You have my support, but you will not have my axe. I shall not raise it against one who once fought with honor at my side. I will remain here and ensure the Gorgon and her vile creations are kept at bay.
I do not revel in the suffering of others, but the cries of Medusa were like a fresh wind of hope. We must now destroy the foul enclave where crimes against nature continue even now. Yes, those scores of the monstrosities already roam these lands. We must ensure Medusa's revolting practices are put to an end. With the Gorgon defeated, the time to strike is now. The sorceress claims there may also be a way to harness the energies channeled here to bolster our chances against Artemis. Morgane's magical theories sound far-fetched to me, but my purpose- I hope so. We can only sow the seeds of possibility. Nature must determine whether we harvest good fortune. Go and seek Morgane within the Enclave. If you clear the way, I'll join you shortly to do my part. to this world reborn. Let our influence shield you from the darkness of corruption. You are the sons and daughters of the- Ah, there you are, Soul Warden. As you can see, I warded this area. Quite effectively, I might add. We will use this rune circle to siphon the energies here and bolster the strength of your Azoth staff. Don't thank me yet. What will arrive is going to be much worse. You need to protect my barrier while I focus on infusing your staff. Place it in the light when you're ready. It will attract attention. <laughs> Well done. What we have achieved here, by siphoning these ancient energies, is very similar to what Mirdin did to first empower his staff of wizardry. But this still falls woefully short of what is needed to battle an ancient. Not only is Artemis an ancient, 
But if she also draws on the power of the Tear of Gaia, I fear this may be hopeless. The one chance we have is to turn her ambition into a vulnerability, and that is what we prepare for. Precisely. Ha! Unlike the Archdruid, your skills in comprehension are intact. <sighs> Traherne does have a role to play, however. Artemis twists the flora first light with a transformative life force, and the Druid can harness this. You are ever the generous one, but it's true we cannot accomplish this without him. He will need your assistance. Of that I am certain. Find him on the bloom above and do whatever it takes. I will meet you at the approach to Light's Crown. I'd hoped to finish this task more quickly. Unfortunately, I was forced to hide myself away. It appears our recent actions have greatly antagonized the local flora and fauna. Artemis throws everything at us now. What we seek is nearby, a seed from a bloom that originated in the initial blast of Artemis's transformational ritual. As you can see by the area, much power was focused here. Those seeds clustered atop the bloom appear quite potent. I agree. I'll try to prevent you from being flanked from behind. The beasts that ambushed me earlier were more of those abominations. Prepare. Well done. Yes, this is a beautiful seed, brimming with a powerful life. <laughs> This is a I can extract this energy as more gain as requested, but the rest will be up to you and her. Yes. Let us hope Captain Harguest and her rangers have cleared the way, and that more gain has made preparations. I sense a pressure, quivering in the trees like the anticipation of something terrible. We should hurry. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
final hour is nigh, and the defilers have arrived. So small and hopeless. This is my last warning to you, human. Come no further. Dare to interrupt my efforts, and your suffering will be spoken of in legends. It turns out the Archdruid can move rather quickly when he senses a threat to his beloved trees. He is prepared, even now, to infuse your staff with the life force of the seed you acquired. Let us hope that it is enough. Artemis cannot be destroyed, so our only hope is that your imbued staff will be capable of imprisoning her. But there is no time. Follow Trahern's instruction. This will work, trust me. It would sure better. The Tear of Gaia contains the legacy of great natural power, and from this seed's life force, your staff will be attuned to it. All things converge upon this moment. Are you ready to infuse your staff and face the Ancient? Place your staff over the circle when you're ready, and we'll finish the final enchantment. This goes beyond anything Myrdin ever attempted. I am proud to have assisted you. The staff is but an implement, however. You will need to weaken Artemis greatly to have any chance of unleashing the staff's new potential. I have no inspiring words with which to send you off, young one. We must prevent Artemis' ascension, or humanity will surely be destroyed. Do whatever you must to stop her. Oh, that is an excellent question, and I will need to think on it, but it should not delay us now. Captain Hargest will hurry her forces from the ground. Traherne and I will do whatever we can to slow the ritual. Go! You fought through fields of beasts and deadly plants. What's one more strand of wheat? Come back in one piece, and human. You have m I have been so full.
Once again, the pride of humanity invites doom to the shores of Eternum. You have done what even Myrdin could not. It seems every time you prove to have new strength that wells up from some unseen source. But there is the matter of the Tear of Gaia. We must act quickly. This artifact is too powerful for an ancient, and certainly beyond anything mortal minds can even grasp. Get it and bring it to me quickly. We must ensure these incompetent druids don't walk away with it. This crystal contains the essence of a powerful ancient. One with a great legacy, who sacrificed herself long ago to form the fundamental magic of Eternum. With it, Artemis would have rewritten humanity's story. Not while this savagery has a grip on them. They simply cannot be trusted with such power. No. I will take it to a place long lost to most where it can be safely hidden. No, it's better I don't. Even your mind could be twisted by such temptation. There are mysteries still yet to unfold, and many beings who would use this for dark purposes. Be on your guard. We will meet again. You have no idea what you've wrought. My vessel is fit to wield such power as the Tear of Gaia, not yours. In fear and pride, you humans grasp beyond your reach. You would be wise to entrust the artifact to me. Enjoy your temporary victory, but know that you've doomed us all. And humanity will face the coming darkness more alone than ever. Come, step closer, and I will give you a glimpse of your fate. Since the beginning, I have sacrificed to protect the Earth. Watching my brothers and sisters yield their very essence to stem the first tide of evil. Upon its return, I sought to restore the garden and to redeem humanity as corruption's accomplice. But you prevented that and invited perils far greater than you can imagine. Your allies go forth, bearing a power never meant for human hands. 
oblivious to the horrors it summons from the shadows. The Beast Lords are but the vanguard for savage legions, and they will hunt you down to reclaim their prize. A darkness unseen for centuries awakens with an insatiable thirst. And above all, the specter of time looms, seeking to claim its toll on Eternum. At long last, judgment comes for the Island of Immortals. Congratulations on your victory. The people of Eternum will hear of the great deeds you've accomplished. And perhaps one day, the wider world. Seeing Kim lightens my heart. Thank you for fulfilling my last request. And thank you for saving us all at the end. I will return to the settlement and try to begin rebuilding. I sense a darkness that we must be prepared for. This is a fitting land for me and my people. I vow to guard Artemis's prison with my life. My rangers won't be forgetting you anytime soon. Nor will I. Though maybe visit sometime, yes? We have you to thank for all of this. Not only have you defeated Artemis and ended the invasion, you have unwound the consequences of my mistakes. I will stay here and do what I can to aid in the restoration efforts. These events have given me a great deal to consider, human. Especially my long-held distrust for your kind. <laughs> you are a great and honorable warrior, and you are my friend. I owe you a great debt. Fate will bring us together again.
We've averted the ascension of an ancient, and yet there remains more to do. I fear what could befall the Beast Lords following their affliction. You should consider returning to the region. They may need further assistance.
fellow soul warden out here? Well, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Care to help our brethren one more time? Don't worry. This is a blessing for us. I hope. You may have heard the rumors about a soul warden's heart gem can grant additional powers through the etching of specific runes. I'm looking for a way to unlock that power, and Brimstone Sands seemed like a good place to start. Uh, yes, the most promising site is the Wall of Nebethet, but it's crawling with guardians. I'm overmatched, I admit. But you, you could get inside. Look for anything that reacts to your heart gem.
You're back! What a relief. I wouldn't know what to say to the other Soul Wardens if something happened to our hero. And there's something different about you. You're still you, but with a sharper edge. Really? This bizarre shape unlocked your heart gem? Every time I think the Ancients can't get stranger. <laughs> anyway, I'll send a missive back to the other Soul Wardens. Thank you for salvaging my mission. Don't have enough problems. Everyone talking about some ancient curse on the land. Last thing we need is to have to worry about corrupted as well. Well, isn't that grand? People starving in the streets, everyone whispering the sorceress Medea's cursed us, and now tidings of evil. <sighs> What's next? Look, the Speaker of the Winds is in charge. Talk to him if you like. But don't expect some kind of welcome banquet. Corinth's gone from feast to famine. Ask five people, you'll get five theories. Some say we've been cursed. Others blame the local druids. Don't make a damn bit of difference if you ask me. Go see the speaker in the town hall if you want to gab any more. That bastard loves to talk. After that, I suggest you be moving on.
Calling for patience will not suffice at this point, Francis. This is clearly a curse. God's here, Satvik. Your penchant for exaggeration never abates. More superstitions about the witch Medea. Infuriated because she didn't get her wagon load of coin and fruit. <laughs> this is precisely what she threatened if we failed to send tribute. That was over a century ago, and I've told you already, we sent the damn tribute. These rumors are drivel, spread by the druids, no doubt. Rumors or not, we have no choice but to venture out and try to salvage what we can from the farms. I've heard enough for today, Elder Satvik. Let it rest. It's not like anyone's going to die of starvation on this infernal island. The people of Corinth are suffering, Francis. Becoming lost. <laughs> if you don't do something, I will. Ho-ho! A fresh, healthy face with a spark of hope in your eyes. That's what we need around here. Less of this moping about and finger-pointing. Elder Sotvik goes around preaching curses on every corner. If he keeps it up, he'll cause a panic. How about some good tidings, for once? Ugh. See now, why spoil our pleasant conversation with such dark business? You're new to Corinth. You should check in at the inn, yes? Put your feet up. Whatever you do, please don't go worrying everyone about the corrupted. I'll deal with that problem when it comes. Or Elder Sotvik will. He seems to enjoy it. Oh, by all means. See if you can help the man come to his senses. Before he worries so much, he falls lost himself. Uh, good luck. You'll need it with Sotvik. <laughs> You see this poor wretched thing? A month ago, my friend Winston here baked the best bread in Corinth. Now, this is his fate for all eternity. Lost, we call them. And their numbers grow as ours dwindle all across Windsward. Even with this demoralizing display, the speaker chooses ignorance. He... I tried to leave. I really did. I had every intention. When I reached this camp, my heart demanded I stop. Here in this desert, I found everything I wanted in life. The memories of my love. Titus, I were friends for decades. But then it blossomed into something more. He brought me flowers from the desert one day. A day I'll never forget. Now he's fallen to the Legion. You would do that for me. 
<laughs> if I just had some cactus flowers I could preserve, I could keep my memories of Titus and what we had. Yes, please. If you'll collect flowers from the cacti, I would be most grateful. Ah, you found them. <laughs> Just as bright and beautiful as the day my Titus came in from the sands. Now I can leave and seek sanctuary in Oxborough. I can never repay your kindness, but take this as some small compensation. Careful for your I wrote the end of history. Look at this new copy. I found it. He looked into it.
Is that Pettis? I'm...
Contract Productions.